going to be making DIY kinetic sand. First, you're going to need some sand. I use sand for like a fish tank. No, I use sand for a pool. For, for, for a pool. You're going to need glue, two containers, a mixing utensil, and some game. So first you're going to pour your glue in a container, specifically the smallest container you can find. And then you're going to add your game to that. You need to add very little at a time. That's, that's, that's good enough. And then you're going to mix it. Trying to hold you guys, and this is kind of complicated. So, you're going to mix it. It's already starting to knead. So, that's, that was easier than I thought. And then you're going to just keep adding tiny, tiny little drops. Since I messed up, I have to do really tiny little drops. Mm -hmm. Need to add a little bitty bit more. Okay. Gotta. Oh, that's enough. <laughs> My utensil is starting to break, especially since it's cheap stuff. I have an idea. Just stare at. Okay, hey, you know, I'm not very good at setting up stuff, so just. Hang in there really fast. You can skip if you want. I'm just going to try to do this. And no. Oh. Okay, hold on. So you mix as much as you can. And you touch the slime every once in a while. To see if it's sticky or not. Mine is still slightly sticky. So you're going to want to add a dot more of detergent. And if you do not have detergent or glue, then you can definitely use shampoo. And I don't know what else, but shampoo and salt or something like that. And then put it in the refrigerator. I can't do that because last time I tried, it failed. So I'm going to try to see if this is a good consistency or not. And it is kind of. Maybe a little bit ah, more detergent. I am getting so sticky. And you may think as this as a fail. Like, oh no, I messed up. But really, this is just how the process actually is. So, because I've done that a million times. So you just want to keep adding detergent. Ah, I think I had too much. Just add detergent until it is nice and non-sticky, which I am totally getting there. And then after it's all dry, all dry, after it's not sticking to you anymore, you're going to want to wash your hands. Definitely wash your hands. I'm going to hurry up and wash my hands. Just rinse them off mainly, and then you have to dry them really, really good, or then if you don't, the glue will stick to you and then mess mess up. So I've done that a million, million, million times. So now that my hands are dry, you may look 
I made some slime. It's not sticky at all. You just gotta knead it. You just gotta knead it really, really fast. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna pour just a tad bit of sand. Oh, well, not really a tad bit, but I guess. And then you're gonna tear off like a piece of slime. Hold on. I'll show you. You gotta tear off a piece. It's that's just a piece. And then you're gonna wanna just stick it all up in here. And I don't know if this will dry out or not, so you might want to find a container to put this in after, maybe. And once you get the consistency you want, then it should be really good. And then you just keep doing it and doing it. And then there is your kinetic sand. Bye.